Oh, I had to give y'all a little bit of Call Me Mother by RuPaul off of that new album, um, American. That, I love, 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 love that song. I'm sorry, please, you have to go get it. It's actually a really fucking good album. Um, I'm a fan of RuPaul and her music, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. I had to give you a little bit of that track. You know, I do not own the rights to that music. I totally was playing it off of my iPad here, so I'm not trying to do anything copyright crazy. Uh, I am just had to share those 25 seconds of the song, but yes. Hey, what's up? It is Matthew, and this is another installment of Matthew's Rants, Raves, and Reviews. And we're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9, Episode 1, Untucked. I'm a little late to the party here, but please forgive me. I was having issues with my camera. And as you know, I've been having some pain with my wisdom tooth, which I'm going to be getting out very soon. But, uh, you know, with me and basically on painkillers and, um, what's it called? Um, what's it called, child? I can't even think of it right now. Um, well, you know how it is. Basically, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> uh, they give you a couple prescriptions. They tell you to take a few naps and to, you know, make the pain go away. And I'm out like a light bulb. So, uh, it takes me some time to get right back up and go, okay, let me get back to my research. Let me get back to filming my wonderful show that I love to share with you guys each and every fucking time. And I promise to do more work. <sighs> it's just been a crazy past couple of days. So we need to get into... Oh, and I know you've noticed the background is back. Um, in my new place, I was trying to set up where exactly I wanted this to be. I'm still working on the lighting here. So if it is a little day glowy, forgive it. Um... I'm still trying to get this set up properly. So, anywho, I brought it back because I had um, somebody bring it up in my last post and I wanted to give them a shout out because I was like, I told you I was bringing it back. So, anywho, yo, we need to get into Untucked. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Oh, also, y'all, I just took a Tylenol 3, so give me a moment here. If I look a little woozy here, um, I've, been I'm, I've been sleeping a lot <laughs> because of the prescriptions they've been giving me. It's basically to help because um, my gum was so swollen from the pain that it was to bring it down before I actually go get surgery, uh, plus the painkiller. So it's just been like, for me, okay? Personal life, bringing it up. Let's get back to RuPaul's Drag Race motherfucking untucked. Okay, I took some notes so we can go over everything. I didn't want to miss too much because we untucked with it only being 27 minutes. It was still a lot of information that we got that we didn't get in episode one based on it being an immediate challenge, immediate runway, no one's going home type of shit, okay? So let's first and foremost, congrats to all of the girls in their first runway debut with the two looks that they did. That was That was pretty good, you guys. Hamburger Mary is catering the food now? What? I was like, okay. We get a burger while we sit and wait with a drink. I said, okay, that's good. Because if they're drinking and it's alcohol in their beverages, they have a uh, burger to help them soak up. I said, okay, that's, I like that. Houston, where I'm from, just got a Hamburger Mary's. Like, we just got one. We're so late. <laughs> but we just got one, so I'm really excited. And I haven't actually gone there yet. Uh, but I plan on going soon. I just want to see, you know, what the talent's going to be and who's, like, on the showcase here. So if you guys have a Hamburger Mary's, support, 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 okay? Also, um, let's see here. Everybody's getting along. Everybody's getting along. There's not a lot of shade going on. Well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, lies. Everybody's getting along. There's a little slight, as I like to call them, being thrown around. I wouldn't say shade, but it's definitely slights are happening here. Little, little specks of dust are being flicked into the air to see how people respond. And I love it because everybody's testing each other because they want to see, you know, okay, Bitch, how are you really going to act <laughs> when we start to really get into the nitty gritty with everything? Um, let's see here. Okay, so Valentina, I'm going to have a moment for Valentina. And I noticed a lot of you guys um, who watch the show love Valentina. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that I love Valentina just as much as you. Valentina is gorgeous. Ten months? Ten months since your debut? Well, okay. That, of course, was filmed like a year ago, I believe, or maybe, you know, less than, a little less than that. But ten months ago, when she first showed up on the show, was her drag debut. And her face is, ugh. My, okay, me and my sister watched Drag Race, um, 
the previous night too. She actually came in really late. And she was like, I, I, I guess I'll watch it, Matt. And I said, okay. And she watched it with me. It was like my third time watching it myself because you know I'm, I'm, I study the damn episodes. And um, she loved Valentina, Pheromone. She thought Kimora Black was, she's like, I like Kimora Black, but it looks like she's had work done and we're gonna get to that. And also that she paints her face really, really white. And I was like, why? I was like, well, I did notice it is kind of a different take on what her skin tone is. But I think it's because of how she puts her look together, that's how she gives that face. And she says, yeah, I see where you're coming from, but it just kind of is like spook. Uh, a little bit, but she's so beautiful. And I was like, yeah, she is. And um, she was so enamored with everybody else. And she loved Nina Bonita Brown. She said, ba she thought that peach look was everything. I was like, I told you. She said, that's incredible, Matthew. I said, I'm telling you. Sorry, I had to bring up my, my sister watching Drag Race with me. I love it when I can bring family members in. And I'm like, hey, this is a show that I love, love, love. And I do my YouTube channel on. You have to watch it with me so you can get the experience that I'm getting. And more than enough, Everybody loves it after I like bring them in on Drag Race. So, anywho, let's get back to it. Um, okay. So, yeah, Valentina is adorable. Now, <laughs> we're going to get into some shade. <laughs> because I thought, okay, Nina Bonita Brown, you had your little, you had a moment. Because you had to question Miss Kamora Black. And ask, you know, okay, baby, have you had any plastic surgery? Which Kamora said no. And the whole room kind of went. Really, sis? Like, it It was the whole room gave her that, oh, okay, girl. Mm -hmm. You know, Peppermint had basically said, you know, babe, those are the most, you know, <laughs> the, the most prominent cheekbones, you know, I have ever seen in my life and, um, and butt, too. And I'm thinking, I, I thought the butt was padding. But if that's plastic, if that's the, how the real butt is, I'd be like, really? Because when I saw the legs, I, it, okay, anywho. I'm going to stop because regardless if she had plastic surgery or not, who cares? It's none of my fucking business. If you don't want to say you had it, you never had it. But don't go on here and lie and say you did and you did. I mean, that, that you didn't and you did. But anywho, I don't care. I, I didn't care if she did or not. It just was her saying no and then later saying, oh, well, I had my um, lips done. I was like, oh, okay. Right, so... I said, okay, all right, Kamor. That wasn't you. Mm -mm. That Q and A, you would have failed, honey. Um, but I thought that was funny how everyone just kind of was like, okay, got it. Um, but I was really happy that Charlie interrupted everybody and was kind of like, hey, big personalities, can we bring it in a little bit? Because James hasn't had anything to say, and James kind of, you know, are you okay? And James was very melancholy, very just mm, about his answers. And, uh, you know, I guess I just need to do this and that and the other. And I feel bad for James right now. I don't, I think that James cannot fully get out what he wants. Or like he said, um, like, 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 I'm sorry, like she said, um, this is not what I expected. And I'm kind of thrown off a little bit. And it's like, you're trying to readjust, but can you readjust, um, in the setting that you're in with all of these people now who are just their pers big personalities this season, okay? So let's hope James gets it together because it's not just fun being like the first or second queen to go out like that. And especially when you actually have a really good personality. And someone had brought up uh, my last video that, um, you know, if you've gone to James's uh, YouTube page, you can really find out a lot about her and um, see her personality. I, I've already, you know, I've been there um, I actually checked out James the moment they said who she was on the show. I said, hmm, let me do some research. And I watched a lot of her videos. Um, she has a lot of talent. And she's a kooky, quirky queen. And sometimes, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see this season. I'm hoping for more than three episodes, personally. Okay? Um, let's get into it. Okay, so I... Eureka, girl. Mm, she was reaching, baby. I'm sorry. Why did you think that Nina Bonina Brown was in the bottom three? And then when you tried to include yourself in being in the bottom three, I was like, oh, you tried to do that deflection, but that didn't work. I, I, I was like, Nina was getting... That was clearly the peach thing and the Gaga look. It was like, oh, no, that was everything. That was a clear winner for me. I was like, where is she? She's digging. 
Then I found it disrespectful how she did James Mansfield by calling her uh, Milwaukee. I was like, uh, how would you feel, Eureka, if someone would just called you Tennessee and didn't take the time to know your name? Like, that was kind of a dig. Now, I may be reaching into that a little deep as well because that could be editing and the music that they gave with Untucked, but that's how that made me feel. You get it? Like, it, it was like... I don't understand why she put herself in the bottom three as well because her first look was everything and so was the second look. Like, come on now, please don't do that. Well, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna say you are in the bottom and I'm gonna take myself with you to make it seem like it's not that big of a deal. I didn't like that, Eureka, but we'll see. I'm hoping that we get a um, better representation because it's coming, you're getting that caddy uh, edit real bad. Um, it's like after everything she says, boom, boom. Bum, bum, like, da-da, like, as if, uh-uh, that was the read. Like, come on now. <laughs> um, okay. Now, I'm glad they clocked the Statue of Liberty overkill with Peppermint and Aja and even with Alexis Michelle, even though she only had it as a, you know, painted on the cape uh, reveal thing that she had, but it was still, like, you know, like they were saying, uh, I think um, Sasha Valor said, New York is so much more than that. So, yeah, I agree, but... I, I'm like, hmm. yeah, it's so much more than that. I don't know. Aja's interpretation of his look compared to what uh, Peppermint was giving was kind of like, really? That's what you, Studio 54, I was like, oh, okay. And, <laughs> but Aja, I know is about to kill, second episode, Aja's going to wear it out. I already know. So I don't even know why. I think the first episode was just a, like, okay, let me get this. Let me get the get all the all the stuff off of me. Let me get all the nerves off of me. And let me just really show out. So we'll see. We'll see. And especially after Lady Gaga gave that comment about taking out the uh, nose piercing, I agree completely. <laughs> Flip that thing up because that totally changes the look. You always look the same with that on. It changes up the look completely when you just don't have that there to where you can do way more with your face versus. If you just did your face differently each time but had that one thing, it'd be like, there she got Full transformation. So I, I totally get that. So again, we'll see what happens. I was really glad that the girls gave Nina her praise on her looks um, because Nina Benina Brown is a force to be reckoned with. And I got to tell you, I was so impressed from her going from mouse to peach to Gaga like that. Regardless if the execution was not 100% impeccable, it was at the, it was definitely in the 90 percentile. You cannot deny that, lady. I'm sorry. It was in the 90 percentile. It was so good. It was so good. No one was doing that. So different, so beyond. And that's what I like about her. She's like the milk of the season. She's like the kimchi of the season. Like, I say kim, kimchi of the season. Like, something different and something that's going to give us... Like, more of a wow. Like, I love, the drag is great. But when the girls do outside the box stuff, that's when it's like, yeah! Like, bring some intensity to the game. So I'm glad they gave her her coops on that. Aja claimed to be the lip sync queen of the season. Her YouTube videos definitely back that up. So when she said, I, I feel sorry for the girl that goes against me, I was like, I do too. Because I cannot wait to see you buck against them queen, okay? Nina had that funny joke about her uh, getting the call that she got on the show from gr the Grinder date, but then going into her family situation and with her being a queen that's been doing this for so long and not feeling validated behind what she's doing or getting the respect behind it has caused her to con you know to question whether or not it's the right thing. I totally, totally feel where she's coming from. I totally feel where she's coming from on that. So I completely agree. You know, I'm you know rooting for you, Nina Bonita Brown. Okay. Um, Gaga was giving the best notes ever. Giving the best notes. I, bitch, Gaga's notes were everything. She gave all the queens the right, I, I think some of them needed more advice, but then again, she was only there for so long. But I think the stuff that she was saying to a few of the queens, like uh, James Mansfield, her commentary for her was perfect. I was like, yes, yes indeed. Um, I was like, that's what she needed to hear. I'll get the fire going in her. But I loved Gaga for coming in there and giving notes and, and giving some advice. And just from what she's seen. And, you know, that is a very cool thing for someone to do. Especially all of them being fans of her. So I thought that was great. Oh, last point. Because I'm ending this video now. <laughs> I'm getting really sleepy. Um, 
we gotta talk. Farrah fucking Moan. Listen, listen, Farrah. This is my whole thing. Because when Gaga brought out that you should have had a reveal and you showed that look underneath, do you know that possibly could have put you in the top three? I thought about it because I said I complained that she was too much. She was clothed way too much. Um, and that ruined the look for the whole um, Alejandro video, uh, you know, latex priest nun outfit, okay? To know she had that body thing, a uh, capiece underneath that look, oh, it would have been sickening to see on the runway. And I was sick to death to know that she had it and she doubted herself. Bitch, don't doubt yourself anymore, okay? Click, kaboom, pop. <laughs> I'm serious. And that goes for everybody. Please don't doubt yourselves. Like, even right now, my pain medicine's kicking in. I'm tired. It's my tooth has been killing me, but I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to do this show for you guys. I'm still going to pop out a video. And next week included, and, and let me have to go get surgery like Tuesday or Wednesday. You better believe Friday while I'm at home with gauze in my mouth, I'm going to sit here and just completely clean it up, get on this damn camera, and give you the recap that you fucking deserve. Because that's what I do. So, Thanks again for joining me for Matthew's Rants, Raves, and Reviews. Please, look down. Do you see those wonderful links? That's my Facebook. That's my Twitter. That's my Instagram. Like, follow, subscribe, and share my shit, okay? I love you guys. And thank you again for commenting and being commentators. I love your commentary, and I read everything that you post, okay? Uh, and I'm totally... And baby, sometimes I don't get to every one of you, but I love everything, and I love all that you do. Um, t-shirts and hats coming soon. I'm working on that as well as more other fun stuff. So many projects underway, but give me a moment. I gotta get these tooth out first and then I can start back again on the, uh, beautiful track. So I want to give you shoulders today and I hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> but thanks again, guys, for joining me. Gals and goys and goys. Um, thanks to you all for joining me. And you know, if you want to talk about more than just RuPaul's Drag Race, let me know what you're watching. There's more out there, but currently waiting for a few things to start, if you know what I mean. So, um, you guys, let me know. Oh, and I saw Power Rangers. Hmm. Okay. If there are at least 10 comments in this comment section that say I need to give you my five fucking cents on the Power Rangers movie because I think that's the one I want to go ham on. And this is from a Power Rangers fan, okay? Okay? A real Power Ranger fan. Like, I dressed up. Trick or treating. Okay? The Blue Ranger. The Black Ranger. I didn't, I didn't want to be the red. He was too macho. That wasn't my style. I wanted to be the side guys. But, um, yeah. We need to talk, well, I want to talk about it, but mm, that's only if you want to hear me talk about it, okay? So if I see at least 10 comments in this section saying I need to do the Power Ranger rant, I will get that video together and I will post it and I will go all the way is in because I went and saw that last night and I had a lot to say. All right, you, all right, okay, bring it in. <laughs>